All right, we fundamentally hit the limits of available training data that would be needed to achieve human level general intelligence. So quality in internet text has been largely exhausted and synthetic data introduces bias and limitations that compound through training iterations. I know Tesla has been going into some data generation and that will work if you're trying to build out the next FST because there's a very finite set of things that it can build. It can build fake roads. It can build fake worlds with fake situations, right? But with AI, we don't want those fake situations because the AI won't be able to tell the difference. For FSD, that's really important. We want that, right? Because we want it to get better at this scenario of driving, right? But with AGI, this is going to break. If you keep pumping synthetic data in, it's just going to break it because I don't want the AGI giving me some made up historical fact, right? So the most optimistic estimate suggests that we may have two to three orders of magnitude left in scaling, but even that is not going to become economically viable. Training now runs the cost of millions of dollars each, making the experimental iterations that drove previous breakthroughs prohibitively expensive. So after 25 years in software development, I've learned that fundamental resource constraints doesn't magically disappear through engineering cleverness, right? So the sudden focus on AI agents is actually an admission that single general purpose models can't handle complex real world tasks. OpenAI, Anthropic, and others are building systems where multiple specialized models will work together rather than one big super intelligent system. <clears throat> So this is proof that AGI and the concept of AGI is dead. So that's why you see Sam and others starting to really backpedal on this uh, this concept of AGI, right? Because agent architecture is going to prove the future of human AI collaboration, not the human replacement scenario that AGI promised and that all of these VCs were rushing for and dumping money in. That's why you're going to see the bubble burst. We're going to see VCs start to realize and recognize, hey, we're not going to get to AI, AGI, right? So despite the Tr almost, you know, the trillions of dollars across all the industry that's been be that's been invested. AI models still confidently generate false information. ChatGPT five is still above one in ten percent chance. So that's ten percent, right? So in engineering standards, we talk about five nines, which means it's got to be ninety nine point nine 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 percent good, perfect, right? Before we release something. We're nowhere near that with AI, right? We're nowhere near that. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, make sure you reach out to us because here at Startup Pack, our specialty is connecting systems so your company can work to maximum efficiency. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. We can help you out. Now, OpenAI's $500 billion valuation is based on AGI promise, and this is going to start to crumble. Investors poured money into AGI startups expecting revolutionary breakthroughs. Now, the one thing that might save OpenAI in this is their 700 million weekly users. So we're going to see how much they can leverage that. And we're start hearing a lot of chatter about them with a browser and a lot of these other things because they want to grasp that 700 million users they've gotten onto. If anybody within the sound of my voice is still using ChatGPT, I beg you, go switch to a different model. They're all much better. And there's no advantage to open AI. They're just stealing your data. Um, but we're entering the phase where companies need to show actual revenue and utility rather than just impressive benchmarks, right? The most successful AI implementations I've consulted on focus on specific, well-defined problems rather than trying to replicate human intelligence. Let me say this a different way. Rather than just building a chatbot that's going to answer every question for you and be the knowledge of the universe, why don't you find a specific problem in your organization and you can hire a company like me to come in and try to solve that specific problem using using data, using good software development practices, and infusing some great LLMs into the process where it makes sense and in a secure and protected way. That is a vertical AI solution, and that's what we specialize in here at Startup Hack. So me and my teams do an excellent job at doing this. A company we were just recently working for, um, we've used AI to match two different data systems. So there's one system that, talk, that has another system, and there was no way to connect the two. Their data was totally different. We actually run an agent in the background at night on servers that's hosted on their premises. So it cost them about $1,500 to build the server, no other processing cost after that, and it matches the data to it. This is an example of where you build vertical AI solutions that are specialized, 
secure and improve processes in a company, right? This is a great example. So AI labs have exhausted the scaling laws that drove progress for the past five to seven years. And so the transition from research breakthrough to product integration represents a fundamental shift in where the value creation happens. And that's like what we're seeing here, right? We're seeing labs pivot from revolutionary architecture research to optimizing and fine tuning of existing approaches. Someone still needs to integrate these systems into ERP platforms, into other CRMs and into other things to continue to drive processes forward. So the distance between what AI can do in a demo versus production deployment has become the defining challenge for a business. Every LLM deployment needs prompt engineering, custom tooling, evaluation metrics, data cleaning, and human oversight that weren't required in this crazy AI vision that we were never going to reach. Models that ace benchmarks often fail at basic business tasks because they lack the contextual understanding that humans take for granted. So I want you to think for a minute the first time you tried ChatGPT. I can remember the first time that somebody came and be like, dude, did you just hear about the ChatGPT thing? Open it right now, try it, ask it a question. Wow, wasn't that amazing? And you were impressed, right? And everybody got intoxicated by that. And immediately they thought, man, we're gonna get to AGI. The very first time I heard this, somebody texted me and was like, dude, did you hear about the ChatGPT release? Which I already had. But they, do you hear about the ChatGPT? You're totally out of a job. We've actually been scaling. We've been growing fast. The real future looks less like transcendence and more like endless necessary integrations, that integration work that requires human intelligence with development, with smart developers following good practices to orchestrate effectiveness. That's where we scale. So startuphack.com slash Spencer. We'd love to help out your teams. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Here comes all the people saying, you're just an AI hater. Bring it, because I love those conversations. We are seeing more and more proof and more and more studies are showing we are not going to hit AGI. And even Sam Altman, the king of AGI claims, is admitting it. Now, what are your thoughts? Leave your comments down below. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers as well as build custom software solutions for companies. Here's some great information about our service. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com slash Spencer.